Now, in the global news at this hour, it was one of the highly, most highly anticipated court verdicts in years in the U.S. The grand jury decision in the U.S. city of Ferguson has been announced. For all the details, we're going to pass it over to Eunice Kim for more. Uh, she's been following the developments for us at the news center. Right, Eunice, the grand jury of 12 people have decided that Officer Darren Wilson will not be indicted for the killing of an unarmed black teenager, Michael Brown, in August. That's right. That conclusion just came minutes ago from State uh, St. Louis County Prosecutor Robert McCullough, who was in charge of this nearly three-month-long grand jury hearing. Understanding the gravity of the decision of no indictment, he painstakingly reviewed the events since that fateful evening on August 9th, also noting the conflicting accounts by eyewitnesses and inaccurate rumors that had been swirling on social media. He underlined that the grand jury panel of nine white and three black members of the community had met on 25 separate occasions to hear all testimony and physical evidence gathered to make an informed decision. Officer Wilson was one of those to offer his testimony, making his case that he had felt his life was in danger at the moment of shooting. County Prosecutor McCullough extending his sympathies to Michael Brown's family added that audio recordings and transcripts of the proceedings would soon be released to the public. The public's response remains to be seen. U.S. President Barack Obama is urging peaceful protests and police to show restraint.